Welcome to Google Developers Weekly for October 14th, 2013. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google Developers on the set and off. If you're building an enterprise web app, you'll want to use the Google Places API to give your users the right information and how to get there. Dylan Thomas and Dave McCluskey from the Geo team talk to us about the best ways to find yourself using this API. We're especially excited this week to talk about the return of Google Summer of Code. This is the 10th year we've connected students with real-world open source software development projects. Since 2005, Summer of Coders have produced more than 50 million lines of code with participants in nearly 100 countries. From the open source team, Kat Allman takes us through this year's plan. Also announced this week is Google Code In for 2013, a global online contest introducing pre-university students to the world of open source software development. Check out the program site at google melange that's M-E-L-A-N-G-E dot com, to learn more. The contest begins November 18th. Kat Allman and Stephanie Taylor join us on a special GDL. And a recurring theme in our GDL weekly recordings has been a focus on the cloud. Jonathan Simon says how we can get started with the Google Compute Engine load balancing. And Dylan Thomas came back to the studio to talk to us about what's new in Enterprise Maps. AJ Himnani joined Dylan as they discussed GME domain provisioning, vector editing, and other updates. Google Cloud Platform is for all developers, including those working on iOS. This week, we announced Mobile Backend Starter, or MBS, for iOS. MBS jumpstarts iOS apps with cloud data storage, device-to-device -device push notifications, and much more. And because MBS is based on App Engine, you can scale to support hundreds of users at no charge. This week, the Dart team released a new tutorial that uses the Polymer Web Component Library. This tutorial shows you how to create custom HTML elements with Polymer. Along the way, you'll learn how to include Polymer in your apps for starters, and then we'll show you everything else you need to add to your custom elements. And to also make sure that you never miss a thing from the world of Google Developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.